Today on the show, we're going to be discussing some theories around Steven Universe. So today we're going to be discussing some theories around Steven Universe, they're actually two of my favourite theories. We're going to be starting with one the community has called the Pink Diamond Theory, or one I like to call the Rose Diamond Theory. So we know there are three diamonds at very least, yellow, blue and white. We've only seen two, blue and yellow, we saw them in the last Steven Bomb, and we've seen white in a mural, and one common aspect between all three of them is that they are huge, apparently. We haven't seen white, but I would expect that it's huge as well. Now this theory states that rose quartz may have been a diamond. Now rose is not huge by any stretch of the imagination, but she's still big. She is taller than garnet, but we have seen unfused gems that are bigger than rose, I mean, let's be honest here. But rose is still big and it's worth noting her size nonetheless. Now if Rose was a diamond, why does she say her name is Rose Quartz when she's clearly a quartz and not a diamond? Well, I would argue that the gems, the gems are named after, are not what they're made of. The best example of this comes from Lapis Lazuli's water wings. She clearly has water stored in her gem. If she was a real Lapis Lazuli, she would be dead because Lapis Lazuli dissolves in water. Also, there's the fact that rubies are considered common and sapphires are considered rare, when in real life, sapphires are kind of common and rubies are kind of rare. In actual fact, in the real world, they're the same gem, but with different names and different colorings. So using these rules, the names the gems have are nothing more than titles. The fact that the gems refer to the diamonds as my diamond, to me, would insinuate that they were once other gems, and my diamond is a title like my highness. What I'm trying to say is Rose could have originally been called Rose Quartz, eventually became Rose Diamond, then quit being a diamond and became Rose Quartz once again. So I would assume the theory goes, Rose was Rose Diamond when they discovered Earth, but then she fell in love with organic life, decided to protect the Earth and fell from grace and was stuck on Earth from this point onwards. Steven Universe has a lot of religious themes and undertones, you can't deny that. So if we were to assume that the three diamonds are actually Gabriel, Michael and Raphael, would it not make sense that Rose was Lucifer? And this does tie into the two of their characters. You see, Lucifer is actually the angel that gave humanity intelligence. Rose gave humanity protection. She wanted the best for humanity. And one could argue Lucifer wanted that as well because we love our intelligence as a race. So obviously him giving us intelligence wasn't a bad thing in the eyes of us, but in the eyes of God, it was a bad thing. This does parallel the situation with Rose. She loved humanity, she wanted to protect them, this was bad in the eyes of the diamond, so she fell from grace. There's also other superficial things going on, like the diamond crest, the four diamond crest, actually correlates to where all the diamonds would have their gems on their body. And there's also the fact that Steven is able to use elite gem technology, and a lot of Rose's own technology is elite gem technology. There are some things that could tear apart this theory though. Like in It Could Have Been Great, the gems saw murals with each of the diamonds on them. Surely someone would have said, hmm, that looks a lot like Rose. And then there's also the fact that when the rebellion started, it was just Rose and Pearl. If Rose was a diamond, where were the rest of her followers? But nonetheless, for this theory, only time will tell because they are definitely covering up the identity of Rose Diamond for a reason. Now our next theory has two branches. What happens when Steven dies? We know Steven is half gem, half organic life, and we've never seen someone like that before him. So what happens when someone that's half gem, half organic life dies? The first one is quite simple. When Steven dies, the organic half of his body dies, but the gem lives on. So he becomes a full gem. There's not much evidence to support this theory, because, well, we've never seen Stephen die. The other theory that I find much more interesting is that Rose gave up her physical form to give birth to Stephen, but when Stephen dies, the gem is obviously going to regenerate. We've seen that gems can do that. So does that mean when Stephen dies, Rose is going to come back and there'll be no more Stephen because Stephen was the organic half, but Rose was the gem half. So obviously if the organic half dies, that means Rose would come back, right? 
If Rose knew that this would happen, it would have been incredibly selfish of her, but I don't think she would have done this out of malice. We've seen time and time again, she's not that good at understanding emotions. Like when she was fused with Pearl and became Rainbow Quartz in the song, What Can I Do? She still didn't pick up on Pearl's jealousy and she was fused with Pearl. She was the same person and she still didn't pick up on it. So that's kind of like, a good piece of evidence to show that Rose just does not get emotions. I feel like Rose is probably that friend that sets out to do a goal and hurts their friends along the way and it's up to you as their friend to say, dude that was kind of messed up but be patient with them. And I feel like that's what's going to happen when Steven dies because if we look at the two things it's logical that Steven is just the DNA half and then when Steven dies Rose will come back. But hopefully we will never have to see that and hopefully Steven will outlive us seeing into his life through the series. Hopefully. It's super effective! Okay guys, that is it for today. So what do you think of these theories? And do you think there's a way for Steven and Rose to coexist? Do you have your own theories about that situation? Please leave them in the comments down below. And also don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more history videos. And also don't forget to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, support the show by checking my Patreon if you want to see bigger and better and more history videos. And also don't forget to subscribe to my vlogging channel if you'd like to start your day with me every single day. My name is Faust, this has been Exploring Comics and it is super effective.